check that one. <laughs> yeah, I hide the bread here because we have critters. No, that's not that's not the critter. This is the critter. You're the critter that got the bread. This critter got the bread. <laughs> video is sponsored by Catchmaster. Hello my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen and this is Tai Tai and this is Leo and leaving the video right now is crazy. Uh-oh, Rocky wants attention. Welcome to my channel. This is Rocky if you're new to the channel. This is Merlin and that right there is Blue. Today we're gonna have so much fun. I lie, we are spring cleaning. You're gonna have fun because you get to watch all of my I'm not gonna have fun because I have crazy animals in the house. Usually when you hear about spring cleaning, you think that we're gonna, you know, start sweeping and I don't know what else, cleaning out bed. We're gonna talk about the spring cleaning that a lot of bird people never talk about. And you might not even know that it's relevant to you. We are talking about bugs, specifically moths, infestations. So now it is time to find the nest, which means we need George. I am the cat master. The most powerful man in the universe. Mom, I need you to come find the moth nest and lose your bet. Oh yeah, we made a bet, so this is how it goes. I bet that the monitors are gonna catch a moth in the cupboard and we'll discover the nest. He bets that, I don't know what he bet actually. I think he bet that he is the person that is the end all be all catch. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing? Good bird. I love you. I love you. There we go. All right. You ready to find out where, which cupboard has the moth nest? You mean to find out if I lost the bed or not? I mean to find out where that damn nest is because it's somewhere. I did find the nest. It's over here. Where? It's gotta be over here. Anything? No, it's empty. Moth hunting! I don't know if we're even gonna find this nest today because if it's not in here, we're... We looked over here already? That's the one that... Here? Wait a second. There's nothing in here. Okay, I guess that's good. This is not in my food. Well, we have more cupboards ready. Open. Anything? No. There's stuff in See, they don't work. Oh, we'll see. Nope. Nothing? So we're gonna go moth hunting still? We're still moth hunting? Yeah. We haven't found any yet. Oh, yeah. Anything? Yeah. What? So I guess there are some moths. But they're not in the cupboard. Does that mean they're in the kitchen? We'll keep looking in the cupboard. Yeah, they're out in the air. That means, well, we still have to find a nest. Check that one. Yeah, I hide the bread here because we have critters. Do you see that? No, that's not, that's not the critter. That's blue and... This is the critter. Brando. You're the critter that got the bread. So I guess there's no moths here. Surprisingly. But there is critters. Yeah, so you hid the bread from the critter. And this critter got the bread. <laughs> Did you get that? Let's keep this going. Well, that just proves to you that there's moths, which we know, but that we didn't find a nest, so. Okay, so let's Check keep on those three cupboards. I don't know why it would be in this cupboard, because there's... Who's on me right now? Monty. How did he get on there? He flew to you. He flew to me. Do you feel special? I didn't. I don't expect him to just land on me like that unless he wants to go to you. Okay. Can we uh, keep going with this? Monty, are you gonna help with this? Yeah. We didn't put one in there. Uh, we put one here. Ah. Open. Uh, empty. I don't know how even. Medicine drawer. Medicine drawer. Nothing. No. 
Oh. See, he did choose you. Yeah, of course he can choose me. He loves me. This is weird because, I mean, if there was a source of moths from the actual house, then we would have seen it somewhere there. That means that they're in open do we, air. Do you see any moths anywhere? That means we didn't find the nest, but they're somewhere. There's got to be more moths. Well, where do you see the most moths? Oh, here's two. There's two right there. Where? One right there. Maybe they're coming from the garage. <laughs> I mean, garage, it's so. right in front of the garage. Yeah, probably they are. No, if you see smoke, there must be a fire, right? Oh, I put one inside the garage. You put a moth trap in the garage? I did. That was my idea, remember? Was it? I probably, if it was a good idea. If we find out it's a good idea. Uh, if we find out it's a good idea, it was my idea. Oh, yeah, there's a few. Oh, there's one alive in there. Oh, God. Okay, so. What does that tell us? That they're in the garage. What is it? Did I lose? That doesn't find that, us. That the doesn't nest. mean I lost. It doesn't mean we found the nest either. Right. It just means we're getting closer <laughs> on the moth hunt. Um, you know what? Mm. Maybe, maybe they're in the vacuum, like the central vacuum. Why would they be in the central vacuum? Because. I, I kind of vacuumed them. Every time I would see one, I would use the vacuum. But did you kill it first? Or did you just vacuum No, I kind of figured that they, they would die in the process. The trap that I put over here is next to the vacuum. I mean, I'm not gonna say that's the stupidest thing in the world, but if they were in the vacuum, like if there was a nest in the vacuum, then I would say that vacuuming them alive is the stupidest thing. Well, the vacuum, central vacuum is accessible to anywhere in the house. Yeah, but it's closed. No, no moth's gonna go in there. It would only be because you vacuumed them. But va they can get out of anything. So it's closed, but it's still, no, it's like the path is still open. I mean, the tubes go to this. Yeah, but they're all closed. Okay, couch master, fine. If you actually find them in the vacuum, then- Then I win? Then. I guess, you know. So yeah. you lose the bet? Yeah, but I don't see how you get they'd get into a vacuum, George. Because also, you need to fix the vacuum because that vacuum doesn't even work. It works, it just needs a bag. So how do you get that? Buy the bag? Or how do we I don't know, I'm asking you, how do you get a bag for a vacuum? I don't know. You buy it on Amazon. All right, should I pull it out? I don't imagine. Whoa. What? It's full of stuff. Oh, what? Baby, open the garage. Open the garage for like Why? now. Because there's a bunch of them over here. I think I found them. It's bad. What is it? There's a bunch of them in there. Is it? Like little tiny things too. What do you mean? It didn't look like something that was supposed to be there. <laughs> Like little worms? No, yeah, the worms and everything. It's like it was like a nest inside there. I think I found the moth nest. I'm the catch master. The most powerful man in the universe. No. <laughs> How can I win the chances? It's because you vacuumed up moths. So it's that's this, so they stayed around because of that. That's crazy. So on one hand you found the nest, but on the other hand, I'm the cause of it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, but that's why I keep you around because you know. <laughs> That you are your own problem. I am my own problem, but you know what though? I still fix the problem. <laughs> oh my god. All these, what is this? Is that like moss? A bunch of little eggs. This 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 collected in our vacuum. There's probably so much more. Well we haven't used this vacuum, but I think you found the nest. Alright, sweetie. Get these bags. Is that moth babies? Do we? we probably need to wash it, right? Yeah. That was like thousands of moths. Okay, guys, so in all honesty, I am completely shocked that we found that in the vacuum because I would have never looked, and that's a central vac, and we don't use it, and I know they didn't get in through the like central vac holes. It has to be that George vacuumed up moths back when it did work. Yeah, like we found the source of the nest. And by the way, we found moth nests before and they were usually in the pantry or in some kind of dog food or some grains, which means to me that there was a big, big nest in the vacuum this whole time because that vacuum has not worked in years. I guess George should get points for that, but he should lose points for vacuuming up moths in the first place. And if I learned anything today you don't want to 
Hey you, you do not want to vacuum up moths. That's not the way to solve the problem. And I will admit, although I've always had catch master traps, I really didn't know the proper way to use them until I started researching to show you guys for the video. I have a kind of funny idea. If you guys get any of the moth traps on this Amazon link, and you should because you wanna have them before the problem starts so that when you see one, you're ready with it. And you probably wanna have like at least a six pack so you can kind of like do what we did and find the source. But if you do, okay, do me a funny favor. Go on the Amazon reviews if it works for you and write <laughs> that George is the real catch master. I think that would be really funny for George, a real good prank on George, and really funny for the catch master to mention that George does get some credit for being the ultimate catch master. All right. <laughs> All cleaned up. I've been talking with my audience here. Would you tell them that you, that you lost? No, I told them that, although I am very impressed. But at the same time... I'm I, the catch master. No, at the same time, you started the problem by vacuuming them I didn't them start off. the problem. They, the problem was there. I just vacuumed them and contained them. When, when we learned. Which is basically showing you that I put them all in one place and kept them there. They might have leaked out of there, but we caught that. Years later. Sure, so I'll, I'll get myself a Catch Master shirt now. You literally created a moth breeding ground because think about it, we vacuum up all these like particles and need, grains that to. the birds drop no, and no. then you 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 say, hey guys, no. are you looking for pantry items? Let me just vacuum you and take you to where you want to go. Where all the and vacuum you can, items are. Yeah, and you can breed there. Luckily they developed there and not inside of our food. So. I did do good. Well, will you ever vacuum a moth again? Probably not. Probably use a monitor to find them. <laughs> yeah. But I still didn't lose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you get to clean? Yeah. <laughs> Big news, George has been harboring moths in the in your own garage. Stay tuned for George moving out of the garage. And cleaning the garage. Yeah, one day, probably on a new He's channel. He's gonna help too. No, because I help you all the time, you keep messing it up. No, you never really fully helped. What? <laughs> Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video, if anything else, made you feel a little bit better and more equipped to figure out the source of your problem or prep in case you have this problem in the future. I'm hesitating because I'm like holding these two away from each other because they're both very jealous birds. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you're interested in the Catch Master, I did put a link below. I feel so good and so clean and so clear. Stop, stop, stop. 